We're still investigating the incident at the factory. No idea on the attacker yet. But at least the satellite should be safe here. Thank you for all you've done. Without you, the RX-44 satellite would never have reached the space agency safely. Rex will be held under armed guard both here and on its journey to our launch facility in Guyana. Rex? Our nickname here at the agency for the RX-44. Can you confirm the shuttle Excalibur launch now, Colonel Stone? We're just waiting for clearance from Mr. Beckett and his colleagues that we're no longer subject to subversive activities. Well, Ed is still on the case. He said... That's the alarm from the training center. It's the shuttle simulator. Fire. The hatch is jammed. Well, who's in the seat of her? Guns are in the new guy. And I can't get them out of the control box. this one. Sweet. That's what I'm looking for. It's there. You get a muscle behind that panel. Come on, Ross. There it is. Any good? No. Oh, it's been disabled. We'll try and trigger it manually. Dangerous. Only our technicians know the wiring codes. We know what we're doing. I think. Any luck, Ross? It's a complicated circuit. Everyone, get down. That's it. Help them! Get them away from the simulator, quick! Give us a hand here. You okay? Guys, what can... Maybe sending him undercover wasn't such a bright idea. Look, two of these trainees will fly the space shuttle Excalibur that launches Rex. This is the obvious place to look for a traitor. I know, but not at the risk of his life. Oh, come Guys. on. Guys, I am here, you know. The trouble with you two is you worry too much. Those flight suits are completely fireproof. I hardly worked up a sweat. Yeah? Your friend Gunter wasn't so lucky. He lost his oxygen supply and inhaled too much smoke. He died in hospital bed. Look, what's the verdict on the other trainees? I mean, could one of them be the saboteur? I'll tell you something, we've done enough simulations to put me off theme park rides for life and I am no close to identifying any traitor. Well, that settles it. Ed, we're going to pull you out. No, leave me in the programme. Just, just give me more time. Now the RX-44 satellite is safely guarded, it seems they've turned the focus for their attack onto the Excalibur shuttle, which will launch it. Mr. Zito, are you certain your training program is secure? Absolutely, sir. There is no evidence that the incident in the simulator was sabotage. Anyway, who would want to stop the RX-44 from being launched? Joy, perhaps if you told us exactly why this satellite is so vital for your country. It's no ordinary telecommunications satellite, is it? I'd say it was designed for subterrestrial geological surveying. Just an educated guess. Okay. What do you know about my country? Kituma? That's a small group of islands in the South China Seas. Here. Suffered a run of brutal military dictators, but three years ago held free elections for the first time. You're very well informed. <laughs> He, uh, knows someone out there. Yeah, 
journalist friend of mine works there. Well, in that case, you'll know how poor my country is and the size of our debts to the global bank. <laughs> the mother of all overdrafts. President Haikudu is convinced that the islands have hidden platinum deposits, but it could take up to 10 years to find their exact location with traditional methods. The RX-44 will locate them in a matter of hours. With that conclusive proof, we could stop the banks for closing on our loans. And if you don't? Haikudu has spent the last of our reserves commissioning the RX-44 and booking its launch with the Space Technology Agency. Failure would mean economic collapse, starvation for my people, and the return of the criminal thugs who used to run the country. We cannot fail. Not everything on the flight is under the control of STA. This is where they're developing the revolutionary new fuel cell to power the RX-44 satellite. Apparently, it's a bit behind schedule. Well, ready or not, we must make sure it's secure. Well, it looks finished to me, Mr. McNair. Yeah, well, it still needs some final testing. <laughs> is that thing really going to power a satellite for years? Well, our people have managed to, to cram an awful lot of energy into, into a very, very tiny space. And the special coolant solves the usual overheating problems with microenergy storage. Well, yes, yes. <laughs> In some ways, the, the coolant is the biggest technological breakthrough. Really? How does it work? Well, s starting from the principle... Look, of... <laughs> I'm sure the um, chemistry, it's all very fascinating. However, what we're really interested in here is security. Security? Yes, security. You see, the key thing is, Mr. McNair, is to get that fuel cell fitted onto the RX-44 satellite as soon as possible. Now, when are you going to finish your tests and deliver it? It's the vacuum test room. It, that's an intruder alarm. It's the fuel cell. some other way. Yeah. Get off. 
Get him, Rose. Guy McNair was holding back delivery of the fuel cell, but when you and Beckett showed up, he tried to kill him. Hmm, someone was improvising. I don't think McNair was a trained killer. And now he's dead. Price of failure. And a way to protect the identity of his paymaster, the trader here at STA. Any luck with your bugs yet? <sighs> no, all I can tell you is which ones snore. <laughs> I gotta go. Mr. Zito's got me down for another training session. Good luck. <laughs> Good job you didn't try and cover that vent with your body, eh? <laughs> Gotta go and ring my tailor. So this simulation is the um, robot arm thingy. RMS. What? Remote manipulator system. Ah. PMI. Pardon my ignorance. Right, who's first? The new boy. Now, the object of this exercise is to use the RMS to extract the satellite from the cargo bay and release it into orbit. No problem. We've got two minutes. Go. No one ever does in less than two minutes on their first attempt. Careful, don't rush it. Thought I was on the clock. You never hear of the tortoise in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my friend. I am no tortoise. There. Done it. Just over a minute. Can you beat that? Pretty impressive, huh? It's not so easy in zero gravity. You do well to listen to Vaughn Hold Edge. He'll be commanding Shuttle Excalibur on this mission. Santos, your turn now. Mr. Zeke. Do you have to schedule me in all these exercises? Well, if I didn't, the others would be suspicious. I have to treat you like one of the trainees, Ed. Yeah, the trouble is, I'm closer to walking on the moon than I am to finding any traitor. <laughs> Someone's really serious about stopping this mission. This is personal now. It's twice they've tried to kill me. I want this guy bad, whoever it is. You know, maybe you're not looking in the right place. What do you mean? Well, if McNair was a traitor, then maybe the saboteur at STA is more senior too. Maybe not one of the trainees, but one of the command staff. Colonel Stone. Colonel Stone. In light of recent events, we have to recommend that you postpone the Excalibur launch. Postpone? Why? We need more time to identify the person inside STA. And we have a deadline for this launch. This is a commercial operation, and our contract with the Katuma government is tough. But surely you wouldn't want to endanger any more lives. What do you think about a postponement, Mr. Zito? <laughs> with respect, sir, I think these specialists are overreacting. We've had some security problems. 
problem. But only in the training program. I have every confidence we can proceed with this launch as planned. Colonel, we need to talk. I've just had word from President Haikudu. The Global Bank has given us a final deadline. We have 48 hours before the state of Katuma is officially bankrupt. We must bring the launch forwards. To when? As soon as possible. Colonel, I believe there's a launch window in 18 hours' time. 18 hours? Yes, but that's hardly enough notice. Colonel, we do have a contract. I'm sure we could make it, sir. All right, I'll advance Colonel, the launch. Start, start pre-launch countdown. Now. Attention, Guyana launch control. We copy mission control. Go ahead, please. Start a scale of a pre-launch countdown. T-minus 18 hours from my mark. Three, two, one, mark. This is Guiana Launch Control confirming switch to Excalibur pre-launch countdown. Look, Zito's training program is still running. As yet, we're undecided about the mission specialist. Your man can stay in place until that decision is made, okay? Colonel Stone, the entire yeah. mission's run from here, yes? Yes, except for the launch, which is controlled from Guyana. So what's all this? A backup facility? That's nothing. It's mothballed. Yes, but what is it? Outside of your remit. Mr. Zito, we have work to do. I hear a star shield. The space based defense system. The network of satellites armed with laser weapons. They said it was never built. And since when have you believed anything they say? As you know, the only way to create a state of weightlessness is to take the KC-135 up to about six miles and fall into a steep dive. Now, many of you have already ridden the uh, vomit comet, <laughs> but for those of you who are first-timers, you may experience a little nausea. <laughs> right. There's a minibus waiting to take you to your plane. Joy, who's going to crew it? I don't have a trained mission specialist I can send up. And even if I had, I can't risk more lives. The mission must go ahead as planned. Katuma's future depends on it. I'm ready to fly. I can't send you up alone. Is there no one else suitably trained? No. Except me. Chopper will rush them to the airport. There's a plane waiting to take them to Guyana. Guyana Launch Control report that RSV fueling has commenced on schedule. Good. Ed, you don't have to do this, you know. Yeah, I know. It'd be a shame to waste the training, though. Look, Ed. Listen, I scored top marks in robot arm simulation. It's a long range transceiver. Long range? Ross, orbital take distance? It. It's new and needs a field test. Ed, Chopper's waiting. Okay. Don't worry about me, guys. There goes a very brave young man. You know what they say? What goes up must come down.
control. Ross, how do you do that? I mean, even at the Hive we could never crack all of STA's codes. What's this? That's one of the cameras inside the shuttle cargo bay. It's only used when it's in orbit. See? There's Rex. Right, and this is the new fuel cell, right? Mm-hmm. What about Ed? Can we see him in Bornholm? Should be able to. There he is. Final medical test before the launch. That's right. No going back now. You're very relaxed. Yeah, well, going into space isn't the big deal it used to be. Look, being a hero down here is one thing, up there it's another matter. I'm ready. You better be. Mistakes in space aren't funny. Oh, that is cold. Only thing in Guyana that is. Listen, I'm going to be a bit busy for the next 24 hours, but how about dinner when I touch down? Medical telemetry activated. Astronaut state is good. All stations confirmed. Go their heart the rates, you'd think Ed was the old hand. Roz? Roz, should, should this be happening? It, it looks like the coolant's leaking from the fuel cell. You're right. Well, surely Mission Control spot that, right? There's no reason for them to check that camera while the shuttle's still on the ground. Look, that's the readout mission controller getting. According to that, everything's normal. system, that fuel cell is very unstable. It's like a little bomb. And all it needs to set it off is a little heat. I don't understand it. SDA seems completely cut off. All the lines in are dead. Well, keep trying to get through. I'm going to go to Mission Control, see if I can stop the launch. Excalibur, this is Mission Control. We are ready to take you through CSC. Ecom activated. Check. Guidance online. Check. Inco status. Check. Oxygen tanks. Check. Hold on a second, Control. We copy you, Shuttle Excalibur. Do you want to make yourself useful? Yeah, if I can. Hold this for me. Continuing CSC, fuel status. Check. Listen, I'm not a passenger, you know. We're going to be partners. I need you, you need me. RMS, internal guidance controls. Check. PTC program. Check. Check. 
Beckett. Beckett. Rose? I still can't get through. Even the dedicated landlines are dead, and the countdown's continuing, and no one seems to have noticed the leak at Mission Control. We'll try to contact Ed directly. Suppose I were to piggyback a signal on the STA wavelength. You'd need a microwave uplink dish to do that, Rod. Yes, I would. I might just be able to help you with that. There's a Hive auxiliary microwave station at map reference... 522448. Unmanned? Fully automated. The best place to input your signal will be level 12, but I'm warning you, Ros. It's a bit of a climb. Terrific. The shuttle's in danger. Where's Colonel Stone? There's a problem with that fuel cell. You'd better come with me. Isn't Stone in mission control? No, no, he's in the communications center down here. to see you, sir. Cargo doors sealed and secure. Copy, Excalibur. All checks complete. This is Shuttle Excalibur confirming ready for launch. Copy Excalibur. You have a go. Control, please confirm. human. 
fact, I haven't felt like this since I had my tonsils out. Minor. Four minutes from 13 and counting to the environment. More electrical and environmental systems. Stand by. Back up. Diana, launch control. You are go for launch. Repeat, go for launch. Transferring command and control to your station. We copy mission control. We have go for launch. Total control accepted by this station. Telling him not to bleep me at work. Yeah. Hello, Excalibur. Come in. Ed. Ed, can you hear me? Ed. Ed, can you hear me? Ed, if you can hear me, you must abort this mission. The fuel cell in the cargo bay will explode. Ed, the fuel cell in the cargo bay will explode. Ed. Rex's fuel cell is going to explode. We have to abort. It's control, we have a. Guyana. 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 Come in. Sir, we've lost all contact with Escalibur. Well, get it back. Escalibur. Launch control, come in. Systems look good. Go for launch, Excalibur. Abort launch, repeat. We must abort the launch control. Do you copy? Maybe I should let you see the file. This is mission control to Escalibur. Launch control. Launch control. I'm in Guyana. I've just had a run in with your Mr. Zito. He's your traitor. Zito? <laughs> can't abort. Guyana has control. Communications have been interrupted. We can see them again now, but we can't contact them or the shuttle. Escalibur, do you read me? This is Zito's work. Escalibur. Maybe I can track down his equipment by the RF leakage. What frequency are your radio comms on? 18,000 megahertz. 18,000. Control, do you copy? Control. And counting. Control, this is Shuttle Excalibur. Ed, Ed, where are you going? Control, do you copy? We must abort launch. Do you copy? Control, do you hear me? This is Shuttle Excalibur. All systems go for launch. Guyana launch control. This is Colonel Stone. We have a code 340. Abort launch. I'm afraid they can't hear you, Colonel. Guyana Launch Control, this is Mission Control. Go ahead, Mission Control. You went awful quiet for a moment there. Everything looks good from here. Copy that, Mission Yeah, this way. This is Guyana Launch Control, confirming switch to shuttle internal power. This is Shuttle Excalibur. We confirm internal power. Excalibur crew, close and lock visors, initiate oxygen flow. Have a good flight.
hear me? Can't you stop the launch from here? Only launch controlling Guyana could stop it now, and we can't reach them. Ed, get back in here now. If you're in that hole when we launch, you'll be killed. Yeah, and if we launch with this fuel cell still in place, it'll heat up and we'll be blown to pieces. You two, cut him off! I've got to re-establish communications with the shuttle. Good luck, Ed. Okay, Scalibur. Looking good. Well, where the hell's Ed? Control, do you read me? Scalibur, we have your signal back now. Control, we have a problem with the satellite fuel cell. Scalibur, where's your mission specialist? Ed was in the cargo bay at launch. Report, please. Telemetry. Susan! Susan! I'm okay! Can you get to the fuel cell? I'll try! Excalibur, we have the data on the fuel cell's heat tolerance. Copy control, we'd like that data. Test records show that the unprotected fuel cell explodes at 104 degrees. Well, it's way below that in here at the moment. It won't be when our orbit takes us into direct sunlight, Ed. How long till that happen? About two minutes. Try to orient it to minimize the sun hitting the cargo bay. It might give me a bit more time. <laughs> Yeah, 
gunk is everywhere. I can't get a decent grip on anything. Thirty seconds till we hit sunlight. Excalibur. A whole room full of people just started breathing again. Take the next left. We'll cut him off. Nearly got him. his usefulness too. One thing's for certain. Whoever's behind all this, I don't want to give up now. said you'd go for. You know what they say? One small step for man. Yeah, yeah, we've heard that one, thanks. Well, I'd better practice. I'll probably be an international celebrity once we land. People who want to know whose shirts I wear. With your dress sense, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot. Listen, I've got to go. It's time for my party piece. I have to deploy the RX-44 so I can start locating Katuma's hidden wealth. Excalibur, you have a go to operate the RMS now. What is it? It's impossible. Star Shield powering up. It's up to you now. Ed. Good luck. 
next season. Starship was mothballed. But what is it? It's a laser-based weapon system housed in a satellite. It's actually been built and put up there. Well, it looks like it, yeah. The question is, who's controlling it now? No, I can't override it. <laughs> it seems to be taking aim at the shuttle. Report. Shuttle Excalibur, come in. But what's going on up there? Telemetry's down. Excalibur's not responding to anything. So what about Ed and Vaughnholt? Either they're trapped up there in space, or they're already dead. 